Unit 1 Family Life Page 6 Getting Started Activity 1 Listen and read. Hello. Hello, Nam. This is Uncle Lom. Is your dad there? I'd like to ask him out for a game of tennis. Well, I'm afraid he can't go out with you now. He's preparing dinner. Is he? Where's your mum? Doesn't she cook? Oh, yes. My mum usually does the cooking, but she's working late today. How about your sister and you? Do you help with the housework? Yes, we do. In my family, everybody shares the household duties. Today, my sister can't help with the cooking. She's studying for exams. I see. So how do you divide household chores in your family? Well, both my parents work. So we split the chores equally. My mother cooks and shops for groceries. My father cleans the house and does the heavy lifting. My sister does all the laundry. And I do the washing up and take out the rubbish. Really? It's different in my family. My wife handles most of the chores around the house and I'm responsible for the household finances. She's the homemaker and I'm the breadwinner. Anyway... I have to go now. Tell your dad I called. Bye. Oh yes, I will. Bye Uncle Long. Unit 1 Page 7 Getting Started Activity 3 Listen and repeat the words or phrases. Rubbish Washing up Laundry Household finances Groceries Household chores Heavy lifting Unit 1 Page 8 Language Activity 1 Listen and repeat. Tr Trash Tree Train Treat True Cr Create Critical Cream Crane Crack Br Breadwinner Breakfast Brown Brother Brush Unit 1 Page 8 
Language. Activity two. Listen to the sentences and circle the word you hear. One. Her brother borrowed her motorbike and crashed it. Two. The crane has been there for quite a while. Three. I like bread with butter. Four. Is it true that he quit? Unit one. Page thirteen. Communication and culture. Activity two. Listen to the TV talk show. Who said what? Good evening. Welcome to our Happy Family program. Our topic today is roles in the family, and our guests are Mr. Pham Huang, an artist; Mr. Nguyen Nam, a teacher. And Miss Mailan, a doctor. Now we'll hear what they think the roles of the wife and husband are in the family nowadays. What do you think about this, Mr. Pham Huang? Well, in my opinion, in the family, the husband is the provider, while the wife is the homemaker. Her job is to look after everybody in the family, and take care of the house to make sure that it's clean and neat. And that the family has good meals every day. So you mean the wife has to do most of the housework? What do you think, Miss Mailan? Well, I don't think so. Women's roles have changed. They also work to share the financial burden with their husbands, so their husband should share household duties with them. I see. What do you think, Mister Nguyen Nam? I agree with Miss Mailan. Homemaking can't only be the job of the wife or the husband; both should join hands to provide for the family and to make it happy. Unit one, page fourteen. Looking back, activity one. Listen and underline the words that have the consonant cluster sounds tr, br, and cr. Write tr, br, or cr above the word that has the corresponding consonant cluster sound. Then, practice reading the sentences. One. After having the ice cream, she brushed her teeth. Two. The car crashed into a tree near the traffic lights. Three. Try this new dish created by your brother. Four. They often have brown bread for breakfast. Five. That brave young man likes traveling by train. Six. Is it true that the crime rate is increasing? Unit one. Page eleven. Skills. Activity two. Listen to a family expert 
talking about how the roles of men and women in families have changed, and decide whether the following statements are true or false. Today we'll discuss the changes in roles performed by men and women in the family. Changes in family life have made men's and women's roles more alike than ever, as the wives are also responsible for the family finances. Family experts say the old notions of who does what in families may be more and more unclear. Men are not the sole breadwinners for the family like they used to be, and they are becoming much more involved in housework and parenting. Because men and women's roles in families have become more alike, for couples to balance their work and family life, perhaps equally shared parenting is the best solution. Equally shared parenting. Means the conscious and purposeful sharing in four domains of life. One. Child raising. Both parents have equal responsibility to nurture and to take care of the children. Two. Breadwinning. Husbands and wives' careers are equally important. Three. Housework. The household chores should be equally divided between the wife and the husband. Four. Recreation. Both partners have an equal chance at time for their own interests, and of course to be with each other. Experts have found out that families that can keep to those four principles of equally shared parenting become happier, and the divorce rate is the lowest amongst them. Unit one, page eleven. Skills. Activity four. Listen again and answer the questions. Today we'll discuss the changes in roles performed by men and women in the family. Changes in family life have made men's and women's roles more alike than ever, as the wives are also responsible for the family finances. Family experts say the old notions of who does what in families may be more and more unclear. Men are not the sole breadwinners for the family like they used to be. And they are becoming much more involved in housework and parenting. Because men and women's roles in families have become more alike, for couples to balance their work and family life, perhaps equally shared parenting is the best solution. Equally shared parenting means the conscious and purposeful sharing in four domains of life. One. Child raising. Both parents have equal responsibility to nurture and to take care of the children. Two. Breadwinning. Husbands and wives' careers are equally important. Three. Housework. The household chores should be equally divided between the wife and the husband. Four. Recreation. Both partners have an equal chance at time for their own interests, and of course to be with each other. Experts have found out that families that can keep to those four principles of equally shared parenting. 
become happier, and the divorce rate is the lowest amongst them. Unit 2 Your Body and You Page 16 Getting Started Activity 1 Listen and Read Hey Scott, have you ever heard the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Of course, why? Did you know that it's really true? What do you mean? If I eat one apple a day, I will never get sick? Not exactly, but it can help you lose weight, build healthy bones, and also prevent diseases like cancer. Wow, that's incredible. I drink apple juice every day. That's good. It will help keep you from getting Alzheimer's disease when you get old. Is that the disease that affects your memory? Yes. Since drinking apple juice helps boost your brain's memory function, it helps you remember things for a long, long time. But, Nam. Yeah? There are a few things I really want to forget. Like losing the football match yesterday. Exactly. Unit 2 Page 16 Getting Started Activity 3 Listen and repeat the words. Then answer the questions below. A which words did you hear in the conversation? Circle them. Prevent. Disease. Bones. Weight. Brain. Boost. Healthy. B. Put the words into categories as in the table. Unit 2. Page 21. Skills. Activity 2. Look at the picture below. What do you think the listening is about? The Healthy Eating Pyramid is a simple, reliable guide to choosing a healthy diet. Its foundation is daily exercise and weight control. Since these two related elements strongly influence your chances of staying healthy. The healthy eating pyramid builds from there, showing that you should eat more foods from the bottom part of the pyramid, vegetables, whole grains, and fewer from the top, red meat, refined grains, potatoes, sugary drinks, and salt. When it's dining time, Fill half your plate with vegetables, the more varied the better, and fruits. Save a quarter of your plate for whole grains. Fish, poultry, beans or nuts can make up the rest. Healthy oils like olive and canola are advised in cooking, on salad and at the table. Complete your meal with a cup of water. Or, if you like, tea or coffee with little or no sugar. Staying active is half of the secret to weight control.
The other half is a healthy diet that meets your calorie needs. So be sure you choose a plate that is not too large. Unit 2 Page 21 Skills Activity 3 Listen to the recording and decide if the following statements are true or false. The Healthy Eating Pyramid is a simple, reliable guide to choosing a healthy diet. Its foundation is daily exercise and weight control, since these two related elements strongly influence your chances of staying healthy. The Healthy Eating Pyramid builds from there, showing that you should eat more foods from the bottom part of the pyramid vegetables, whole grains, and fewer from the top. Red meat, refined grains, potatoes, sugary drinks, and salt. When it's dining time, fill half your plate with vegetables. The more varied, the better. And fruits. Save a quarter of your plate for whole grains. Fish, poultry, beans or nuts can make up the rest. Healthy oils like olive and canola are advised in cooking, on salad and at the table. Complete your meal with a cup of water or, if you like, tea or coffee with little or no sugar. Staying active is half of the secret to weight control. The other half is a healthy diet that meets your calorie needs. So be sure you choose a plate that is not too large. Unit 2 Page 21 Skills Activity 4 Listen again. Divide the plate into sections and label which food should be in each section. The Healthy Eating Pyramid is a simple, reliable guide to choosing a healthy diet. Its foundation is daily exercise and weight control, since these two related elements strongly influence your chances of staying healthy. The healthy eating pyramid builds from there, showing that you should eat more foods from the bottom part of the pyramid, vegetables, whole grains, and fewer from the top, red meat, refined grains, potatoes, sugary drinks, and salt. When it's dining time, fill half your plate with vegetables. The more varied, the better. And fruits. Save a quarter of your plate for whole grains. Fish, poultry, beans or nuts can make up the rest. Healthy oils like olive and canola are advised in cooking, on salad and at the table. Complete your meal with a cup of water or, if you like, tea or coffee with little or no sugar. Staying active is half of the secret to weight control. The other half is a healthy diet that meets your calorie needs. So be sure you choose a plate that is not too large. Unit 2 Page 17 Language Activity 1 Listen and repeat 
One. Presentation. Print. Press. Proud. Preview. Two. Play. Please. Place. Plum. Plow. Three. Group. Gradual. Ground. Gray. Grand. Four. Glad. Glance. Glue. Glow. Glass. Unit 2. Page 24. Looking back. Activity 1. Listen and repeat the following sentences. 1. The prince plays a prime role in producing the special food. 2. Alice glances through the window and prays for magic. 3. The Grimm Brothers' fairy tales have their grounding in the fairy world. 4. The growth of the grass in the ground is carefully monitored. Unit 3. Music. Page 26. Getting started. Activity 1. Listen and read. The young pop star looks shy, right? Yeah. He's the teen idol who's exciting female fans around the world. He also looks passionate on stage. Looks can be deceiving, haha. <laughs> I bought his platinum album, My World, a few years ago. Do you know a lot about him? Of course. I'm one of his biggest fans. I read his biography on the internet and found out that he won second place in the idol contest in his home country, Canada. Really? So he's very talented. Did he graduate from a famous music school? No. He says he learned by just singing around the house. Every country's got talent. You're right, Mai. How did he become popular, Anna? His mother began to post homemade videos on the internet in 2007. He became a superstar within two years. Incredible! I agree with you. His video got over 10 million views, so he became well-known. He was also the first solo artist to have four singles enter the top 40 before his debut album release. Unit 3 Page 28 Language 
Activity 2 A. Listen and repeat. Est. Best. Contest. Guest. Chest. Test. Rest. Crest. Unt. Talent. Moment Achievement Different Parent Present Current Eight Educate Late Rate Date, state, commemorate, debate. B. Listen and write down the words you hear. Commemorate, best, talent. Different Guest Date Test Achievement Parent Unit three Page 31 Skills Activity 2 Listen to the following song excerpt. Tell your partner what you thought about and how you felt while you were listening to it. Unit 3 Page 31 Skills Activity 3 Now, listen to the conversation between Anna and Nam. What are the speakers talking about? Circle the best answer. What are you listening to, Nam? I have a dream by ABBA. Can you sing the song? Sure. Most Vietnamese teenagers can sing it. Really? How nice. What is your favourite kind of music, Nam? Inspirational. 
Could you give me the names of some inspirational songs you like? Thien Quan Ca by Van Cao, Noi Vong Tai Lun by Jin Kong Sun, Circle of Life by Elton John and Tim Rice, and We Are the World by Michael Jackson and Lionel Richie. Why do you like these songs? Because they inspire me, and I can learn lessons about things such as patriotism, charity, hope, and love. Incredible! It seems you know a lot of English songs. Thank you. How about you? What are your favourite types of music? Well, like most American teenagers, I like hip hop or rap. Unit three. Page thirty one. Skills. Activity four. Listen to the recording again. Give short answers to the following questions. What are you listening to, Nam? I have a dream by Abba. Can you sing the song? Sure. Most Vietnamese teenagers can sing it. Really? How nice. What is your favourite kind of music, Nam? Inspirational. Could you give me the names of some inspirational songs you like? Thien Quan Ca by Van Cao, Noi Vong Tai Lun by Jin Kong Sun, Circle of Life by Elton John and Tim Rice, and We Are the World by Michael Jackson and Lionel Richie. Why do you like these songs? Because they inspire me. And I can learn lessons about things such as patriotism, charity, hope, and love. Incredible! It seems you know a lot of English songs. Thank you. How about you? What are your favourite types of music? Well, like most American teenagers, I like hip hop or rap. Unit three. Page thirty-four. Communication and culture. Activity three. Listen to the music. Ask and answer the following questions. Unit three. Page thirty-three. Communication and culture. Activity three. Listen to the recording. Ask and answer the questions. What are we going to do tomorrow evening? How about going to the city opera? 
There's an interesting program on there tomorrow. What kind of program is it, Mai? Well, I've got a program blurb here. Would you like to have a look, Anna? Yeah, let's see. Ah, Tchaikovsky Swan Lake, a ballet with many well-known Vietnamese actors and actresses. Well, it seems cool. The performers are prominent and talented artists in our country. Look at this singer; she looks charming and passionate, right? Yeah, she is. Who is the handsome guitarist? Ha Long, one of the leading guitarists of pop music. So I'll get the tickets for all of us, right? Okay, thanks, Mai. Unit three. Page thirty-four. Looking back. Activity one. Listen and repeat the following sentences. One. The best moment for you to show your talent is in the contest tomorrow. Two. In this debate, the contestants will state their opinions and points of view. Three. The modest guest took a rest, and then he started talking about his achievements. Four. You are fortunate. Because you didn't arrive late, it is raining now. Five. The passionate singer sang different songs about peace and love. Unit three. Page thirty-four. Looking back. Activity two. Listen and write down the words. One. Commemorate. Two. Late. Three. Moment. Four. Contest. Five. Debate. Six. Guest. Seven. Different. Eight. Rest. Nine. Achievement. Ten. Rate. Unit four. For a better community. Page thirty-eight. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. Hi, Hugh. I called you yesterday afternoon, but you didn't answer. Oh, really? What time? At about two p.m. What were you doing then? Oh, when you called, I was working. I volunteer every Tuesday afternoon at the Happy Mind Charity Centre. I teach children. Really? Why? Because these children are disadvantaged, they have many problems and they need our help. What subjects do you teach them? Vietnamese and maths. It sounds interesting. How did you get the job? Just by chance. 
I was interested in doing volunteer work, so when I saw the advertisement for volunteer positions in the newspaper last summer, I applied and was chosen. Oh, I see. Was the job easy at first? Not really. When I worked with them for the first time, many of them couldn't read or write. Some of them were hopeless at maths. What did you do then? I got some useful advice from my teacher. It was really helpful. All of the children can read and write now. Your job is very meaningful. I also want to do something useful for our society. Well, if you are interested in this kind of work, I will introduce you to my team leader. That sounds great. Thanks for your suggestion. I'm very excited. Unit four. Page. Forty. Language. Activity one. Listen and repeat. And. Second. Friend. Understand. Planned. Grand. Ng. Interesting. Teaching. Exciting. Helping. Training. Hunt. Announcement. Student. Advertisement. Spent. Environment. Unit four. Page forty-three. Skills. Activity three. Listen to the announcement by the director of Heart to Heart Charity, and decide whether the following statements are true or false. This is a public service announcement for the Heart to Heart Charity. We are a non-profit organisation that helps people in need. As the Tet holiday approaches, we are asking you to think of those in our community who need help. Even today, we have unbelievable problems in our community. Many children and adults are hungry, cold, and sick every day. Our goal here at the Heart to Heart Charity is to help those people. To do this. We need your help. To help, you can do one of three easy things. First, you can donate food and clothes to our organisation. Your food and clothing will go straight to someone who needs it. Second, you can donate money to our organisation. We will only use your money to buy food, clothes, and medicine for the needy. Or last, you can donate your time and work in the office. We always need new volunteers. Your donation of any kind will always be welcome, so please contact us at 15 Hartan Street. We are open from 8:30 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. Unit four, page 43. Skills. Activity four. Listen to the announcement again, and choose the best answer.
This is a public service announcement for the Heart to Heart charity. We are a non-profit organisation that helps people in need. As the Tet holiday approaches, we are asking you to think of those in our community who need help. Even today, we have unbelievable problems in our community. Many children and adults are hungry, cold and sick every day. Our goal here at the Heart to Heart charity is to help those people. To do this, we need your help. To help, you can do one of three easy things. First, you can donate food and clothes to our organisation. Your food and clothing will go straight to someone who needs it. Second, you can donate money to our organisation. We will only use your money to buy food, clothes and medicine for the needy. Or last, you can donate your time and work in the office. We always need new volunteers. Your donation of any kind will always be welcome. So please contact us at 15 Hartan Street. We are open from 8.30am to 10pm every day. Unit 4 Page 46 Looking Back Activity 1 Listen and circle the words you hear in the sentences. 1 Look at that ant. 2 he didn't mend that. Three. They have just built a new ice rink in the area. Four. The houses in this area stink of carbon dioxide gas. Five. The banks lent money to the poor people in the village. Six. We spent our last summer holiday doing volunteer work in a mountainous province of Vietnam. Unit 5 Inventions Page 48 Getting started Activity 1 Listen and read. Dad, you promised to reward me if I passed the English test. Well, I did. OK. What do you want? A laptop? A video game? An e-book reader? Or a smartphone? Wow, Dad, you're so generous. My old mobile phone is still good. Um. The screen of an electronic book is rather small, so I think a laptop will be my choice. What a wise choice, Fong. A laptop has lots of benefits. It's portable, so you can take it with you. It's economical, so we don't have to spend too much money. And it's very versatile, as it can do many things. When you were my age, you didn't have a computer, did you? Of course not. No emails, no online games. No internet, no online shopping, no... How could you live without those things? We did, but computers have really changed our lives. The computer is definitely one of the greatest inventions in the world. Now, tell me what you will do with your laptop. I'll use it to listen to music, to chat with my friends and to play games. Is that all? How about for your studies? Yeah... I'll use it for researching topics on the web and typing my assignments as well. Right. Use it wisely and it will be your best friend. Unit 5 Page 49 Language Activity 1 Listen and repeat these words or phrases. Pay attention to their stressed syllables. Blackboard Blackboard Whiteboard 
Whiteboard. Hot dog. Hot dog. Lighthouse. Lighthouse. Running dog. Running dog. Unit five. Page forty nine. Language. Activity two. Listen and tick the words you hear. One. Greenhouse. Two. Software. Three. Gold brick. Four. Moving van. Five. Tall boy. Unit five. Page fifty three. Skills. Activity two. Listen to an interview with Mr. Brown, a spectator at a test flight of a flying car. Tick the words or phrases that you hear. Excuse me, I'm from the ABC Discovery Channel. May I ask you a few questions? Sure. Your name is Eric Brown. Yes, Mr. Brown. Why are you interested in this test flight in New York City? Well, I'm a businessman here in this city. You see, there are quite a lot of traffic jams during the rush hour. I guess owning a flying car like this might be a good idea. I see. What do you like about this car? It's not, not too big, just a little bit bigger than a normal car. So when its wings collapse, it fits quite well in any garage. Second, it doesn't use too much gas, just five gallons per hour in the air, and one gallon per fifty kilometers on the ground. How about its speed? It's okay. It can reach a hundred and twenty kilometers per hour on the ground, and nearly two hundred in the air. Anything you don't like about it, Mr. Brown? Yes, it needs a runway. That's the biggest problem. What happens if it gets stuck in traffic and cannot take off? Yeah, thank you very much for spending time with us. Unit five, page fifty-three. Skills. Activity three. Listen and answer these questions. Excuse me, I'm from the ABC Discovery Channel. May I ask you a few questions? Sure. Your name is Eric Brown. Yes, Mr. Brown. Why are you interested in this test flight in New York City? Well, I'm a businessman here in this city. You see, there are quite a lot of traffic jams during the rush hour. I guess owning a flying car like this might be a good idea. I see. What do you like about this car? It's not, not too big. Just a little bit bigger than a normal car, so when its wings collapse, it fits quite well in any garage. Second, 
It doesn't use too much gas. Just five gallons per hour in the air, and one gallon per fifty kilometers on the ground. How about its speed? It's okay. It can reach 120 kilometers per hour on the ground, and nearly 200 in the air. Anything you don't like about it, Mr. Brown? Yes, it needs a runway. That's the biggest problem. What happens if it gets stuck in traffic and cannot take off? Yeah. Thank you very much for spending time with us. Unit five. Page fifty-three. Skills. Activity four. Listen again and complete the information about the flying car. Write one word or number in each gap. Excuse me, I'm from the ABC Discovery Channel. May I ask you a few questions? Sure. Your name is Eric Brown. Yes, Mr. Brown. Why are you interested in this test flight in New York City? Well, I'm a businessman here in this city. You see, there are quite a lot of traffic jams during the rush hour. I guess owning a flying car like this might be a good idea. I see. What do you like about this car? It's not, not too big, just a little bit bigger than a normal car. So when its wings collapse, it fits quite well in any garage. Second, it doesn't use too much gas, just five gallons per hour in the air, and one gallon per fifty kilometers on the ground. How about its speed? It's okay. It can reach a hundred and twenty kilometers per hour on the ground, and nearly two hundred in the air. Anything you don't like about it, Mr. Brown? Yes, it needs a runway. That's the biggest problem. What happens if it gets stuck in traffic and cannot take off? Yeah. Thank you very much for spending time with us. Unit five. Page fifty-six. Looking back. Activity two. Listen and repeat these words. Food processor. Smartphone. Laptop. Washing machine. Earbuds. Runway. Solar charger. Correction pen. Digital camera.